Alright folks, we are back home at the coffee bar and yes, you're getting two coffee videos this week. You want to know why? Because it's cold out. It is minus eight. Pour a cup of your favorite brew, sit back, put your feet up. Here we go. So, as we are here back home, like I said, do you want to see what I got? I'm going to get to this one in a second. That's what five pounds of coffee looks like. We're going to talk about this another day. I know, that's twice I've done it to you. I don't mean to do that to you, but that's twice I've done it to you. I can't talk about the coffee. Today, though... We're going to talk about Unique Coffee Roasters uh, from UniqueCoffeeRoasters.com. Uh, I did a little bit of research on this here. We're going to talk about it in a second. Uh, just give you a heads up. I got this coffee at TJ Maxx and yeah, there seems to be a trend here. I think the last one. Yeah, Joe Knows Coffee. I think come from TJ Maxx as well. Anyway, this coffee here I paid $5.99 for. And it is a 12 ounce or 340 gram bag of coffee. Whole bean which means I'm going to grind it myself. I've already ground it. So yeah, I'm going to not bore you with the grinding and the noise of the coffee maker. So here's the grind and I like to go halfway between a medium and a fine grind. I just ground this fresh. One thing I am finding out though and I'm going to go into a whole lot better explanation when I get into this. Not now. In doing my research with the coffee, I come to find out that most people are saying you should wait anywhere from 10 to 21 days before you drink the coffee that's coming out of the roaster. Now, a buddy of mine, he roasts his own coffee. He seems to think it takes it roughly two to three days, and then the coffee tastes good. Um, some of the other roasters I talked to, like I said, so after the 21 day mark, it starts to lose its aroma, starts to lose its flavor, and obviously the coffee becomes stale. So drink it and drink it fast. I'm going to put some of this in the machine and we're going to talk about unique coffee roasters. As usual we're going to try this black then we're going to try it with milk. So let's see. So this is Coffee Roasters Costa Rica whole bean coffee. A strictly hard bean grown from the mountains of San Marcos Terrazzo in Costa Rica. A full body bean with a mellow taste and excellent acidity. A classic drinker for any time of day, and this is the French roasted version. Uh, one thing I do like, they have the roasting profile on the side of the bag. I'll get a little closer to that in a minute. And on the other side, they also have the brew method. So, uh, I gotta be honest here, a lot of these coffees are, are fine coffees that I'm drinking. They're not made for a Keurig. I mean, they're made for a Chemex or a French press or... Or, or something of that nature, or an espresso machine. Definitely not for a Keurig. Because I don't have an espresso machine, it's a Keurig. Coffee's done. This does smell very strong for a French roast. is smooth for a French roast. There's no real bite to that at all. It says the expiry date is the 3rd of September 2020. I could drink that coffee black. That's pretty good. Let's try the milk. 
should also tell you the Unique Coffee Roasters is not a very old company, and mind you, it's not a young company either, but it was formed in 1995, like I said, in Staten Island. Let's try the milk. Uh, just like the other one, I prefer this one with black. I got a comment in one of my last videos, my last coffee video. Uh, somebody told me that they only drink coffee black. And I did respond to that message saying uh, I'm finding myself leaning more and more to drinking my coffee black as opposed to with milk. This is two videos in a row where I said I would drink the coffee black. All right, we're going to do this old school a little bit here. We're going to talk about Staten Island for a second. So strange facts about Staten Island. So, in case you don't know, Staten Island is a borough of New York City. So, Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, they're all boroughs. Staten Island is a borough as well. So, Staten Island is the wealthiest borough in New York City. Uh, the, the median household, household income is $73,000. It is also the least populated borough in New York City. Oh, I didn't know this either. Staten Island has a total of 170 parks 170 parks it was also home to the world's largest landfill which is now well on its way to becoming a park sure fill the whole garbage and put grass on it I'm sorry to say that out loud it's home to some of the city's oldest buildings uh, the name Staten Island came from the Dutch legislature uh, and that occurred in 1630 from the Muncie, from the, here we go, from the Muncie tribe. Also says here, no one knows why Staten Island, Staten. Also says here, no one knows why Staten Island is part of New York and not New Jersey. I don't know either. Staten Island voted to secede from, from New York City in 1993. Uh, it is also home to the Museum of Tibetan Art. The map of Westeros is modeled after Staten Island. I have no idea. Alright, I did do a recent trip. I did do. Jen and I did go on a recent trip to uh, New York City. I've been there twice, actually. Never once went to Staten Island. And now that I hear that it's a former landfill, I'm not sure that I want to go there. You need coffee roasters? Very good coffee. Very good coffee. I don't know how old this particular bag of coffee is. Like I said, these beans expire on the 3rd of September 2020. So, I don't know whether they're allowed to hold them like that for a year or not. Six months, three months, that I don't know. However, it is very good coffee. I would recommend this coffee. This is not a sponsored ad. None of my coffee ads are sponsored. Um, I have to say that for YouTube purposes. You don't know whether you're going to get coffee. You're going to get fishing, hunting, photography, b-roll. You never know. You never know. Anyway, and what do I always say? The best way to drink coffee is the way you like to drink it. See ya. Like I said, the bag expired. These beans expire on the 3rd of September, 1920.